Thanks for that unboxing news from the capital city. It was heavyweight. Mark Demore, Mark the fight with David Haymaker. Hey, it's just been announced. How are you feeling about that step up of opponent, sir? It's something that's long overdue for me. And when I got the fight announced and they talked about, it, of course, there's there's a little bit of nerves, there's a little bit of fear, and, and that's what brings the best out of me because I've been going through the motions a lot in the ring, and sometimes I've been going extra rounds purely because I'm bored in the ring. And for me to go to that next level, it's that kind of sink or swim fight that I need. And I follow David Hayes' career, I'm very aware of him, his strengths, his weaknesses. And like I said, I don't think it's a guy that's better than him necessarily that is going to beat him. I think it's a guy that's willing to fight harder. You mentioned it on the top table there, Mark. Do you feel like the time is right, you're catching David Hay at the right time in your career and his now to capitalise on it. Look, some guys take time off and they come back better than ever. They're, they're, they're refreshed mentally, physically, they've recovered injuries. Some guys come back and their timing's not the same. So what, what I'm doing is I'm just preparing for the best David Hay from his uh, previous fights when he was heavyweight champion. Do I think that a shoulder reconstruction is a good thing? Definitely not. You know, it's, it's going to give me three targets. I'm going to aim at his jaw, his ribs, and also his shoulder because this is a fight. And if there's an injury, uh, whether it's 100% or not, I'm going to target it. David spoke to himself of, you know, you know yourself, shedding ring rust is no easy thing. It's, it's, it's the hardest thing to do in boxing to come back. But is it saying you've got in your mind, are you, are you all out, of, you're a heavy puncher anyway, Mark, but are you all out assault on a night? Are you going to take David Hay out? Yeah. If I let him sit in his comfort zone, he's a beautiful boxer. <laughs> He had a great amateur career that I didn't have. He's got a nice jab, he's got movement. I'm limited in some things, but what I, I lack in those areas, I believe I can make up for by just, just getting in close, working, and just letting him feel the power of my punches because it's a guy that's had a lot of injuries, he's had a shoulder reconstruction, he's been out of the ring for a long time. The pace of a real fight, you, it doesn't matter how much sparring you do, how many fitness drills you do, the pace of a real fight with that adrenaline, it's something that even though it's been at a lower level, I've been in the ring constantly for the last few years and I'm going to go to another level for this fight because you know when, when there's a, a big fight you invest more money in your training, your sparring, um, you know you're not worried about other things, all I'm doing is sleeping, eating and training. So to beat a guy like David Hay, do I want to sit back and play his game and, 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 and mix skills with him? No. It's pretty simple. I've got to get in his face round one to round ten and um, try and force a pace where, where something's got to give, whether that's an injury to him or, or land the right punch. And it's it's a, a plan that where you've got to take risks. I can't play safe in this fight. I can't sit back. It's his crowd. It's his show. And I, if you read the script, I'm supposed to you know be his comeback fight, but I may as well not be here if I'm going to follow the script. You know? and, and what people want to see is someone that really gets in his face and and throws bombs, you know? throws bombs, and whatever happens, you go out on your shield or you're crowned victorious in, in a really dramatic way. And I think that's why they picked me because they know I'm not a safe and first fighter. And it plays into his hands a little bit, but it also makes a great spectacle. Just finally, you're a bit heated head to head yeah. there. Did you say anything to David? You seem to put your head up against his and maybe nudge him away slightly. Did you say anything there? Uh, uh, look, there's, um, it's not going to end up like a, a, a big press conference fight like with Chisora or something. That's not my style. I just want to let him know today that I'm not here to be part of the show. I'm not here just to be the B-side. He's the star of the show. I, I'm glad he chose me, but there's also a little bit of feeling insulted he chose me after so long out. So, okay, obviously this is how you think you're going to ease your way back into it. And I just want to let him know today that you know, it's, it doesn't matter what happens before the fight. Once that bell goes, I know my personality, and that's let's do it. And I just wanted to get in his face today and just, just let him know this is a real fight. I'm here to fight. I'm, I'm not some guy that's picking up a payday. I'm not some guy that's looking past him. I'm some guy that's here. This is the biggest fight of my life. It's not the biggest fight of his life. So there's much more motivation for me. Mark Demore, thank you for your time, sir. Thank much you. appreciated. Thank, thank you. you.